Good morning, friends, and welcome to Saturday, February 11th. Barb Baker will start us off with How Firm a Foundation. Saturday's devotions found in the Upper Room Discipline, written by Cameron Barr. The scripture reading is Psalm 119. I suggest that you pause and read it, the whole Psalm 119 yourself. I'll read 1 to 8. Happy are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the lay of the Lord. Happy are those who keep his decrees and who seek him with their whole heart who also do no wrong, but walk in his ways. You have commanded your precepts to be held, kept diligently. Oh, that my ways may be steadfast in keeping your statutes. Then I shall, be put, I shall not be put to blame or to shame, having my eyes fixed on all your commandments. And I will praise you with an upright heart. And when I learn your righteousness ordinances, I will observe your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Most of us can recall a teacher or mentor who profoundly shaped how we understand ourselves in the world. The author often thinks with gratitude about his high school English teacher. Most teachers use ballpoint pens to comment on student work, and many use blue ink as a sign of gentleness and mercy, but not his English teacher. He kept on his desk a flat-tipped red Sharpie. He would cross out entire paragraphs and write blunt notes in the margins. And though he was harsh in his judgment, there's no denying he was an effective instructor. The skills he taught the author with so little delicacy, prepared him for college and sustained him when he found expectations suddenly raised. Analogously, the psalmist relates to God's law with the gratitude of a student who has been shaped by its instruction. Whereas the law is often presented as a litany of negative prohibitions, thou shalt not, the psalmist shows us the benefits of studying, obeying, and obeying God's laws. Like the needful critic of a teacher, the instructions are a sign of God's care. And like a student who is seeking assistance, the psalmist looks to the law to keep for help to keep living it up, up to it. Keeping the law faithfully becomes a gratifying and enjoyable discipline as writing has become for the author. Hence, the odes of thanksgiving and praise, happy 
are those who keep God's decrees. Psalm 119 is both a hymn of praise for the help that God has rendered and a prayer for God's help. Its praise and plea is the same breath. Thank you for showing me the way. Help me to stay on the path. Let us pray. You know the material, O God, and you know the student. You know us better than we know ourselves. Reveal the truth that we need to know and speak to us in the way that we need to hear. Amen. Our closing hymn is Thy Word is a Lamp, verse 2.